Right now, everyone is going crazy about Microsoft's new AI, Wasa One. With this AI, they are promising to give everyone the power to make a picture appear, to sing a song, talk or basically make it alive. It may sound familiar to you, because Alibaba created a similar model named Emo. From first impressions, Emo looks much better. I made a video about it, you can check it here. So in this video, I want to find out if Alibaba is really crushing Microsoft at AI. Sub-Zero. Prepare to rejoin your clan. I will send you to hell in part. First, let's talk about Wasa 1. Lifelike, audio-driven talking faces generated in real time. Here's how it works. You input a single image, audio track, and it will generate a video. It uses the same diffusion model as Emo. I talked about it more in my previous video. But the difference between these two is that with Wasa 1, you can control the emotions and content that you receive by yourself. As you can see in this real-time demo, you can control things like speed, pitch, volume, head nodding, and movement. You can also control the position of the face and so on. I like that you can control the output of the same audio track and image with Vasa 1. But does it generate better videos? Let's look at the examples. I'll start with Vasa 1. Round 1. Fight! So, you know, sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just gotta deal with it. And it's also just strange to both be extremely worried about different things and have your anxiety levels like peak to the highest they've ever been. Okay, that looks pretty bad. It looks like the head is in the cage and it's glitching, mouth and teeth are blurry sometimes, face expressions don't look natural, at least lip sync is okay-ish. So now take a look at Timo, how they did it. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry, you don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish I just could have been told you can cry. Guys, you can tell me anything you want, but this looks much better. <laughs> Okay, Wasa1 lost round one. Now let's see how it compares at singing. So, Wasa1 first. Yep, it's bad. Maybe even worse than talking. All of her facial expressions look weird, her cheeks are barely moving, and her eyes look manic. Here's a singing from Emo for comparison. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Head movements are more smooth, they are rhythmic, I just feel its emotions better. It's strange to say that I feel AI emotions. So, in general, Vasa 1 looks like a poor attempt to stabilize video. I really expected more. Sub-Zero wins. I find it quite surprising that Microsoft would produce a product of lower quality compared to Alibaba. But can I tell that Microsoft is being crushed by Alibaba? Perhaps not. You see, Microsoft partly owns OpenAI, which has probably the best chatbot, ChatGPT. It has also created Microsoft Copilot AI, which makes developers work much more efficiently. And I'm not even talking about Windows, Xbox, and many other great products. Yes, Alibaba's diffusion model is better, but it's just in the development phase. So let's wait for the future. These technologies still have a long way to go. It's still pretty limited. It doesn't generate full body or handle flexible elements like hair and clothing. There are also some things that worry me. And AI like this opens up a lot of possibilities for scammers and identity thieves. In 2023, over 1 million identity theft victims were reported in the USA. This AI will make that number even bigger. Nearly everyone has shared at least one selfie online or on social media. And using those photos for bad intentions will become very easy. It's already tough to tell what's real and what's fake. And these tools will make it even harder. To prevent ourselves from being scammed, you should avoid using sketchy websites, public Wi-Fi's, or even uploading photos to the internet. If you get any images or videos that looks a bit off, you should definitely double or even triple check it. Also, sharing as little information about yourself online as possible is one of the key aspects. If you feel like you're already overshared, you can always try Incogni. Incogni is here to remove your name, surname, home address, phone number, and other data points from as many lists as possible. I'll leave a link in the description with a discount code if you want to try out. As technology 
evolves, AI tools presents both incredible opportunities and significant risks. Even though we are amazed by what AI tools can do, it's really important to be careful. Either it's Alibaba, Microsoft or any other company, we need to make sure we get the most out of the good things they offer while making sure they don't cause any problems. And now as always, surf safe and stay incognito.